Won Guin was a Korean general and admiral during the Joseon dynasty. He is best known for his campaigns against Japanese during Hideyoshi's invasions of Korea. Won was a member of Won Chuan family, which was well known for its members' military accomplishments. He was born in 1540 near Pyeongtaek and demonstrated his skill as warrior at a young age. He was qualified as a military officer and was first assigned to the northern border to defend against the Jurchens, who frequently raided Korean villages. One led many successful campaigns with Yil and Yi Sun Sin against the Jurchens. After considerable accomplishments on the northern frontier, he was promoted to admiral in 1592 and sent to the southern coast of Jiangsang province to command the province's western fleet, along with Yi Sun Sin, who became admiral before one and took command of Jiola province's eastern fleet. At the time, Wan and Yi were cavalry leaders who had no experience with naval warfare, military career. Upon passing the qualification exam, he was assigned to the northern border to defend against the Jurchens, who frequently raided Korean villages. Wan led successful campaigns along with Yi Il and Yi Sun Sin against the Jurchens. He was promoted to admiral in 1592 and sent to the southern coast of Jiangsang province to command the province's eastern fleet, with Yi Sun Sin, who became admiral before Wan and took command of Jiola province's western fleet. At the time, Wan and Yi were cavalry leaders who had no experience with naval warfare. Before the Japanese invasion at this time, Japan was united after a long period of internal warfare by a new leader, Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Hideyoshi had become supreme ruler over most of Japan by killing many rivals to rise to power. He decided to begin an expansionist war against Japan's neighbors. Some Koreans realized that the threat from Japan was great. They argued that the Joseon dynasty needed to prepare for invasion from Japan as well as the existing Jurchen menace. However, the government was divided along factional lines and the officials could not reach a decision. Hideyoshi saw the chance to take Korea unprepared. Service during the first wave of Japanese invasion on April 13, 1592. The Japanese fleet under Kato Kiyomasa launched a sudden strike on the eastern fleet of Jiangsang province and disabled every ship under its control. The main army under Kato and Konishi Yukinaga landed on the Korean peninsula the next day and marched northward. One, who was commander of the eastern fleet of Jiangsang province, was also routed by the invading Japanese. With this able force, Admiral Wan may have had an opportunity to intercept and engage Japanese invading forces at sea, thus perhaps preventing or delaying the Japanese incursion on Korean soil. However, he decided not to act upon the naval intelligence regarding the Japanese incursion until the Japanese landing party established a beachhead and successfully laid siege upon the city of Pusan. At this point, Wan sank many of his ships in retreat to ensure they would not be captured by invading Japanese forces. With four ships left under his command, one called for help from Yi Sun Sin, who had prepared for war and raised a smaller and battle-ready fleet. King Sionjo finally ordered both admirals to fight against the Japanese forces on May 2, 1592. One and Yi began the campaign two days later, with Admiral Yi Okeki the commander of the eastern fleet of Jiola province who later became the commander of the western fleet of the same province following Admiral Yi Sun Sin's promotion. On May 7, the Korean Navy under Yi destroyed a Japanese fleet in the Battle of OKPO. Later Wan was promoted to an army general, while Yi Sun Sin became naval chief of staff. Plot to remove Yi Sun Sin in 1597. Japanese decided to stop all negotiations with the Koreans and Chinese Ming Dynasty and planned a re-invasion of Korea. To do so, they plotted to remove Admiral Yi Sun Sim from his position. Japanese spies directed by Konishi Yukinaga spread word that Kato Kiyomasa was urging other Japanese to continue fighting and would soon be crossing the sea. 
King Xiongzhou ordered Admiral Yi to capture Kato, but Yi refused to do so, as he knew that the words were the fabrications of Japanese agents. Xiongzhou was in fear of a possible coup d'état attempt by Yi or by his supporters, which was never plotted. But Sionjo convinced himself it could happen any day. Yi refused to carry out his orders several times and his fleet was the strongest combat force on both sides. Yi refused to carry out the orders purely due to tactical reasons, but the act of insubordination itself, no matter how justifiable, frightened the king beyond his breaking point. King Sionjo finally ordered the execution of Yi, but the royal court reluctantly yet successfully resisted the order and was able to lower the punishment to imprisonment and demotion. Yi was placed under the command of Guan Yel to recover from his wounds from the torture administered during the investigation of the charges against him. Sionjo then replaced Yi with Wan Guan as the naval chief of staff. Battle of Chilchen Riang, Wan Guan's first and last naval engagement. Wan also knew the information was false and did not advance toward Pusam for the same tactical reasons Yi reported to the royal court before his removal from the post. Yi was removed for refusing orders to engage the Japanese. The government continued to trust the information and ordered one to attack Japanese ships at Ungchon. One attacked the Japanese, who were mostly unarmed and protected under the ceasefire treaty to support the negotiation process which was about to be terminated, and defeated them. He lost one of his battleships and its captain during the attack. He did not advance after receiving a letter of protest from the Japanese commander, then Field Marshal Guan Yel, who was also under heavy pressure from the king, recalled Wan to his headquarters and once again ordered him to attack Pusan. Wan finally led the navy towards Pusan, along with the famous Admiral Yi Yokeki, following orders despite tactical considerations. The Japanese at first seemed to retreat, but it was a trap. The Japanese were prepared to devastate the Joseon Navy before land invasion. The number of Japanese ships was so great that most Koreans were already frightened, including Admiral B.A.E. Seoul. The Japanese fleet, commanded by Todo Takatora, advanced toward Won Guin's fleets. One knew that he would lose the battle but had no choice but to engage. At the Battle of Chilchen Riang, most of Jose on Navy's ships were destroyed. One was killed in action. Only the small detachment of 12 warships under the command of Admiral B.A.E. Sol, who refused to participate and fled even before the battle began, survived. Every other ship in the combat was destroyed or disabled, along with almost all of Jose on Navy line officers and many capable mid-level commanders. Aftermath the battle opened the route for Japanese to advance to Yellow Sea, and Todo set up the plan to attack Hanyang from land and sea with Kato Kiyomasa and Konishi Yukinaga. However, Japan's hopes were crushed again by Yi Sun Sin's return at the Battle of Myong Myang, which would decide the winner of the devastating war. Despite any historical controversy, Wan Guin and Yi Sun Sin received commendations following their deaths legacy. Next to his military career, Wan Guin is perhaps best known for his personal faults, which included excessive alcohol consumption and attempts at adultery. In his war diaries, Yi Sun Sin recalls reports and rumors about cruel deeds committed by Wan and even mentions an incident in which Wan had unsuccessfully attempted to seduce one of his subordinates as wife calling him a wicked man and blaming him for his degradation. Much controversy lingers in regard to Wan Guin as a military leader, widely panned by scholars and historians. There is recent research to suggest that Wan Guin may have been excessively vilified during the Park Chung-hee administration to elevate Yi Sun Sin by juxtaposition. In particular, Wan Guin's earlier successes against the Jurchens have been buried and there is an interest in providing a more objective view of Wan Guin's military career. While fault exists for Wan Guin's mistakes as a naval officer, much of the blame of the troubles during that period lies in the factionalized incompetence of the royal court. 
However, it is still hard to ignore his actions and lack of competency as a naval commander, and blame the political instability and indecision of the royal court for the result of the Battle of Chilchen Riang. The battle led to the near-complete annihilation of the Korean Navy in a single engagement against the Japanese, who were here to for unable to prevail against the Koreans in a naval engagement. In popular culture, in the Korean drama TV series Immortal Admiral Yi Sun Sin, Won Guin is portrayed as a basically honorable man who is, however, very hot-tempered and stubbornly loyal to his king. In this depiction, Won and Yi Sun Shin started their military careers as friends. As Navy commanders they begin to disagree about strategies to fight the Japanese. Yi's careful and well-thought-of tactics contrasts with Won's preference to face the Japanese head-on. The resulting carelessness results in the near destruction of the Jose on fleet. But in the end one acknowledges that Yi has been right all along, and he nobly sacrifices himself to secure the retreat of his remaining men. In the Admiral Yi campaign of the video game Empires, Dawn of the Modern World, Wang Guin is portrayed as a traitor to Korea, allying first with Manchu raiders harassing Korea's north and later with the Japanese invaders. In this portrayal, Wang Guin appears to be responsible for masterminding both attacks on Korea, with the eventual aim of becoming king of a reduced Korea, allied to Japan and tributary to Ming China. His treachery is discovered by Yu Xiong Ryong, and he is arrested.